Filipino women have the smallest natural breasts in the world. You're only dating a foreigner because you want his money. Fear of not being able to express your feelings. If your statement is grammatically wrong, then they will laugh at you. Foreigners are known to having bigger D, but it could come up here. Does it? Let me know in the comments. Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? I hope you are doing amazing. Well, today's video, we are going to talk about things a Filipina fears when dating a foreigner. Now, I have actually asked you guys in my Instagram account, if you follow me there, then you have known it already. And some of you have actually suggested today's topic, so I decided to list down a few things a Filipina fears when dating a foreigner. And by the way, if if you are new here in my channel, hi, welcome, thank you so much for clicking this video. My name is Melchin Salon, I make travel videos which I have not done for such a long time already because of the pandemic. I also make lifestyle videos like raw living here in the Philippines, specifically in the countryside or the province here in Cebu. At the same time, I make sit down videos just like this one with topics involving around Filipinas or foreigner dating or just foreigner here in the Philippines. So if you're interested to those kind of videos, then feel free to subscribe to my channel. All you have to do is to tap that subscribe button down below and click the bell notification so you won't miss any of my videos. And also, my birthday is coming. That's gonna be a best birthday gift. Thank you so much. Before we begin, I just wanna make a disclaimer that all of the things that I'm going to mentioned in this video are just my opinion coming from my observation, my experiences since I am a Filipina myself. So without further ado, here's number one Filipina fears when dating a foreigner. Okay, well, I know this sounds hilarious to you and you might not expect it at all, but yes, I would have to agree that it's quite funny to think that some Filipinas fear of their partner having a big banana. Now, you might be asking, why did I put this as the number one fear? Because this is the frequently asked question to those Filipina that are in a relationship with a foreigner. Most of their girlfriends or even their boyfriends and also especially their gay friends would normally pop this question as soon as they realize that you have a foreigner boyfriend or foreigner husband even. I don't know where is this perception originated to be honest but as far as I can remember I have been hearing this since I was young that foreigners are known to having bigger D Yes, the D than most of Filipino men. And I think this is the exact reason as to why some other Filipinas have this fear, especially when other Filipinas that have engaged with their foreign partner or that have experience sexually with their part foreign partner starts to kiss and tell with a lot of exaggeration that it could come up here. And <laughs> I know that's quite funny, but does it? Let me know in the comments down below. That's quite hilarious. So yeah, to be honest, Filipinas have this fear of it might be too big and they might not be able to take it or it might be too rough and you know, just like everything in between. And yeah, there are really some Filipinas that really fear about this. Some Filipinas can be too timid. Most, if not all, lacks courage and confidence. Now, this is actually the most common reason as to why Filipinas doesn't want to date foreigner because of the fear of um, speaking in English. Where in fact, if we think about it, English is actually our second language here in the Philippines. Now, most Filipinas have this fear of not being able to express their feelings and emotions towards their foreigner partner or foreigner boyfriend. And especially when argument arises, which would result to the lack of communication. And you know what? It takes a lot to a Filipina to have the confidence in speaking in English freely for the reason that they don't want to be laughed at because of their wrong grammar or mispronunciation. Because to be honest, here in the Philippines, 
Filipinos can be very judgmental towards one another. Now, for example, if your statement is grammatically wrong, then they will laugh at you. And if you mispronounce a word, they will make fun of you. This is why if you're a foreigner asking for directions here in the Philippines from, for example, a group of friends that you see along the way, they would normally hesitate and push one another as to who will answer you because they don't want to speak in English, they don't want to um, have a wrong grammar, a wrong pronunciation, and the other friends will hear them and they will be bullied for the entire day. As if you compare to someone walking alone and if you ask directions from them, then they would be gladly um, help you and they will do their best to speak in English and even with hand gestures or even take you to where you want to go. Um, and they wouldn't care in speaking English because what? There's no one that will judge them. And that's a really sad reality here in the Philippines. People can really make fun of you if you commit a mistake, especially in speaking in English. And, you know, I really hope and wish that we could normalize speaking in English freely without being judged. Most Filipinas are raised with the idea of getting married and having kids in the future. Now, one of the fear of Filipina dating a foreigner is being left and miserable. Since some foreigners would come to the Philippines on a holiday, most Filipinas would not want to date them in view of the fact that they're only going to be here for a short period of time and the possibility of them coming back is pretty slim. Filipinas want a serious relationship. There are only a few out there that would want to have fun and play around, but most of them would really want a relationship that could lead to marriage. They want to love and be loved, and they want to have a partner in life, just like any other women in the world. And most Filipinas actually have a fear of engaging with someone that might not be there forever, all the more when he's not in the same country as her. That could result to having a long-distance relationship, which they have heard a lot of horror stories. Long distance is actually not a good kind of relationship to be in and yes, I would have to say from my experience, it can be notoriously difficult and complicated, especially most Filipinas can be very clingy. So most Filipinas don't want to date someone that they don't see a future with and obviously they don't want to be left with whatever reason. So as what they say, we are entitled to our own opinion. However, if that opinion becomes a judgment to others, that's when it becomes a problem. Most Filipinas have a fear of being judged, particularly with other Filipinas. Now, if you're dating a foreigner here in the Philippines, some people would think that you are dating him because of his money since most if not all Filipinos have this perception that if you are a foreigner, then you're rich. If you're white, then you're rich. Most Filipinas don't want to be thrown with statements like only desperate Filipinas are dating foreigners. You're only dating a foreigner because you need a visa. You're only dating a foreigner because you want to get out of poverty. You're only dating a foreigner because you want a Western passport. You're only dating a foreigner because you want financial security. You're only dating a foreigner because you want his money. You're only dating a foreigner because you want a baby with blue eyes. Now, these are the most common statements that Filipinos will throw at you if you're dating a foreigner here in the Philippines. Especially if you are a younger Filipina with an older boyfriend, some people here will really look at you from head to toe while judging you in their minds. It's sad, but that's the reality. Let's take for example, when you were able to build a house, when you were able to buy a car, or when you have a nice bag, or when you're wearing something expensive, or when you go eat in a fancy restaurant, and you have a foreigner boyfriend, or you have a foreigner husband, people here will judge you. They're gonna say, ah, oh, you were just able to achieve all that because of your foreigner, because of your foreigner husband because of your foreigner boyfriend. There are only a few Filipinas that can really take all of these judgments. 
Filipinas are naturally born small and petite. An average Filipina height is 5 feet and some are even shorter than that. Just like any other women, Filipinas have physical insecurities and that physical insecurities includes small breasts, flat nose, brown skin tone, and even dark armpits. These physical insecurities prevents them from trying to date a foreigner. Now, based on my search on Google, it says that Filipino women have the smallest natural breasts in the world. Wow! <laughs> and women from the United States have the largest cup size compared to females from other nations, while Filipinas have the smallest. Okay, wow. Well, aside from that, some Filipinas are also afraid to be rejected because of their brown skin tone. Now, I know that some of you might disagree to this because you might think that having this brown color or morena skin is beautiful. And even some of the female in the Western countries would put on some spray tan to achieve the skin color that we have. But here in the Philippines, white is beautiful. That's why if you try to look at the lotion or the soap that we have here in the Philippines in the department store, um, you can see that it has brightening ingredients. And also when you look at our celebrities here in the Philippines as well, you can tell that they have a white complexion skin. It is actually only now that social media is present that people here in the Philippines would appreciate a morena woman. You know what they say, you always want what you don't have. Now, some of the Filipinas would also want to have a prominent nose because here in the Philippines, if you have a prominent nose, then it makes you beautiful. And some would even want to have a brighter armpit. This is also one of the strong insecurities that some of the Filipinas have. Um, with dark armpits and chicken skin. This would actually prevent them from wearing sleeveless top or something sexy because here in the Philippines, as soon as you raise your hand, people that you're talking to or people around you will look at your armpit. Well, that concludes my list of Filipino fears when dating a foreigner here in the Philippines. I know for sure that some of you have your fair share of Filipino fears when dating a foreigner. So um, if you're a Filipina or if you are a foreigner married to a Filipina and you have some observations or experiences, then feel free to comment it down below. I would love to read them. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you find it helpful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it to your friends. And also please comment below any topic that you guys would like me to talk soon. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you guys on my next one. Don't forget to smile and be happy. Bye.